Hey guys, Red here. Welcome back to Pokemon Eclipse. So, last episode, we tried to take on this gym leader and got fucking wrecked. Um, so I went off and trained a bunch. Got everybody up to level 32. So I'm thinking this should be high enough level to take this guy out. So let's do this. It was actually quite easy to level up because of all the Audinos plus the uh, Lucky Egg that we got recently. So doing that, uh, doing that training was actually pretty goddamn easy. All right. So he's got the main food and the Krogunk first. They're pretty low leveled actually. Like they're only 25 and 27. So these guys should be no problem. Uh, let's see. Go for the Spark on the Krogunk and one attack the main food. All right, there we go. So the main view, the main foo, sorry, taking out one hat. So that was quite easy. And now he's sending out Primate. All right. And wow, get fucking wrecked, Krogunk. But uh, this is going way better than last time. Okay, so the, yeah, the Pangoro is the thing that's kind of scary. Uh, everything else is going to be quite easy to take out. I'm assuming this Primate maybe. Get knocked out in one hit as well. Oh, critical hit, so yep. <laughs> not sure if that critical hit really mattered there or not, but that's pretty awesome. And I'm assuming this will not knock out this uh, Pangoro. Didn't think so. And that drain punch, that drain punch is going to be annoying because it's going to do a lot of damage and he's going to heal quite a lot from it. Right, well, at least I know both of my Pokemon are faster than him, so I should be able to take him out quite easily here. Yeah. So yeah, that was a lot easier. We managed to beat him in like a single go. So yeah, yay me. Your battle and skills are truly impressive. Take this badge, you deserve it. And I received the Katana badge. Yay. Awesome. The Katana badge makes your Pokemon faster. It also allows you to use the move Fly outside of battle. To fly back to places you've been to before. Alright, cool. So we can now use Fly whenever we get that. And we've got Drain Punch, which is a pretty awesome attack. But I don't think anybody in our team can learn it, so... That kind of sucks, but not much we can do about it. So, uh, yeah, where's the, uh, where's the Pokemon Center? I'm trying to remember where the fuck it is. No, no, that's the bar. Oh, there it is. Alright. So... Apparently we can get we can use fly outside of battle now, but I don't think we've even gotten the TM for that or the TM the HM for that yet. So hmm, right. I'm gonna let's go back into this tower and see if we can. If there's anything we can actually do now now that we actually beat the gym because before we came in here and we literally couldn't do a single thing. Um. Okay, no, still not. Okay, so we literally still we still can't do anything here. We only have three badges, right? Yeah, so the game shouldn't end here. It said there was uh, it went up to four badges. Unless wasn't there a way I could go down here somewhere? Um. Oh yeah, so I, oh yeah, we did get I did get down here last time, and then I didn't continue because. There wasn't, there wasn't anything we could do. So who's this? This is a... Uh... Oh yeah, he um, asked us, this is the guy who was at the library and stuff. And we're searching for something. I totally forgot what happened last episode. It's been like quite a few days since I've played this game. Alright, let's see. He's got to be here. Where else would he be hiding? In case you are wondering, I'm looking for Garrick, Sienna City's gym leader. Oh, he disappeared two weeks ago without letting anyone know around the time... The, Grac the Gracidia Festival started. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> he, it was the notorious womanizer Garrick. He's a womanizer? What the fuck? So apparently she saw him. Hello? I think Pokemon get closer to the trainers if they spend time together. Uh, well, yeah, obviously. Um, yep, if you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge again from... Yeah, that's true. Alright, so let's see. Oh my god, there are a lot of people to talk to. Also, who the hell is this? Red, how have you been? 
you should sign up for the tournament. They're giving HMO2 to all participants. Just speak to the league official. Oh, nice. There was this handsome guy with long blonde hair doing card tricks at the Fountain Market yesterday. He said he'd been he'd meet me here today, but he hasn't shown up yet. Oh, well, that's a shame. My favourite Pokemon is Bidoof. What's yours? <laughs> Wait, what? My favourite Pokemon is Bidoof. What's yours? Yes. My favourite Pokemon is yes. High five. No. No? Is that even a Pokemon? What the, what the fuck? Alright, who's this guy? We're hosting daily tournaments for the Gracidia Festival. All participants get the HMO to fly and the winner gets a very rare prize. Would you like to... Yeah, okay. You need three Pokemon, no more or no less. Please come back with three... I have three Pokemon. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, okay, so I have to put HM bitch away in the PC. Alright, I'm just going to explore a little bit more before I uh, do that then. Let's just do this. Get out of the way, bitch. Okay, let's just... I'll deposit him there now and... Uh, and we'll explore... Um, wait, what? What was that about Erica? Erica, a gym leader from Kanto, visited, visited for the Gracida Festival. People say she's really beautiful, yeah. We get so many visitors for the festival recently, it's crazy. Alright, thanks. Okay, so that's the way out of the town. I heard there's an old man who can make any Pokemon evolve, given the right condition. The Evolution Guru. Oh, maybe that's who you go to to get uh, Pokemon to evolve that usually need trades. That'd be pretty interesting. Whenever I go to the food market, I get carried away by too much. This is why I should avoid going there, even though I live there. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh my god. Oh, is this the market, I guess? Uh, why is there a Zoru up there? Can I talk to it or anything? Okay, did I? Wait a minute, did I come in here? I don't think I did. Herbal medicine. Okay, no thanks. I do not want herbal medicine. Who's this guy? Hey there, I'm Merlinus. I'm a travelling merchant. To celebrate the festival, I have the most amazing bargain for you. The rare Pokemon Eevee for just $25,000. Do you want it? I do, but I do not have that kind of money. So, Jesus Christ. Um, let's see. Okay, this guy just sells those. I can actually... Okay, let, let me sell a bunch of stuff. I'll sell this high proportion. I don't really need that. Um, let's see. Nugget, sell that. Uh, Extend. I've got a Firestone that I'm... Don't know if I'm going to use. So I'm just going to keep it just in case. Escape rope, can sell that. Um, I don't know what else to sell. I don't really have anything else that I want to sell. Yeah. I really need more money so that I can uh, buy that Eevee. That would be pretty awesome. A berry shop. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can. Oh, they're actually quite cheap as well. Well, that's actually really awesome that you can get these. Wake up, poison burn. Defrosting. Um, I'm, I'm kind of sad that she doesn't have any lumberries. What do you sell? I'm the energy guru. Alright, no. Okay, so nothing really interesting to buy there. Or that I would want to buy. So what did... What, it was the notorious when I get it. Wasn't he supposed to be amazing? Hmm. Alright, let's, let's do this, uh, let's do this thing. Yes. The eighth participant. We're ready to start. Oh my god. Oh, and... Wait. Second battle. Nate versus Joshua. Nate wins. Third battle, Vanessa versus Dieck. Vanessa wins. Alright, David versus Red. I will never evolve my Bidoof. They're the strongest Bidoof for the win. Oh my god. So this is the guy who was like, oh, my favourite Pokemon is Bidoof, what's yours? And then I was like, yes. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna totally fucking destroy this guy, so there we go. Okay, semi final is Anya versus Nate. Nate wins, oh my god, Nate beat Anya. Interesting, and now I'm facing Vanessa. I won yesterday's tournament. I'll win this one too. Um, no you won't. Wow, really? A fucking level 42. 42. 24 even. Oh my god. That is a fucking Florigus. That was kind of out of nowhere. Considering you just had a fucking thing on my wall with level 24. Alright. And that little punny is dead as shit. Alright, so it's me and Nate. Surprised to see me, Red? I managed to find Garrick and persuade him to return to his gym back in Sierra City. So I thought... I join the tournament and maybe get to fight you. Now show me your skills. Okay, so this is the first time we've fought this guy who's a psychic. He's got a mobile. That's kind of annoying. Um, with, especially with that intimidate, but that was no problem whatsoever. And a gabite. Hmm. Okay, so Francis is the best option for this. Oh yeah, by the way, Francis learned razor shell uh, when we were training. So that's pretty awesome. So let's just uh, ice school spear. That thing's dead as shit. And an alakazam. 
easily send out Jack Ripper to deal with this and use Assurance. Okay, I'll use Ominous Wind since you did that and then I'll, wing it. I'll literally use all my attacks to defeat you. <laughs> the bonds between you and your Pokemon are strong. I'm envious. And the winner is red. Woo! Well, okay, what do I get? <gasps> A shiny stone. Ooh. Congratulations, Red. As I promised, here's your Pokemon egg back. It should hatch soon now. Oh, nice. Well, that might... To be honest, depending what this egg is, that might be the next Pokemon that I actually use. Um, it kind of sucks that I got a shiny stone. I would have preferred a Dusk stone so that I could evolve uh, Jack. So that kind of sucks. Oh, well. All right, so uh, I guess since I have Fly, I'll be able to fly back to Sienna and fight the fourth gym leader. And I think that might be as far as I can go with the game, but I'm not sure. I can still go down this way. Oh no, wait, I can't. Oh no, I can't. I can use the rocks. What are you going to say to me? No, come, come here. I don't know who blocked this cave with leaves or when they did it, but they made sure no one was ever getting in there. Even Pokemon moves like Cut can't get rid of that pile of leaves. Yeah, apparently. Some new HM move. So I don't have a... Okay, so yeah, I can't... I literally can't go any further. I'm going to have to go back and fight the fourth gym leader. And I think that's where the end of the game actually is. There's not actually anything else we can do, I don't think. But the trouble is, I don't have a flying type Pokemon. Uh, I don't even have one in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to withdraw him. There are Starlies around. In fact, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't have a flying type Pokemon. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm sitting here going, I don't have a flying Pokemon. I've got fucking Jack. Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get rid of Haze because it sucks dick. There we go. Alright, so I guess all I can do now is fly back to Um See is it Sienna City? Lapis Sienna City, yeah. That's where the fourth gym is. So we may actually beat two gyms in one uh, episode here. And this'll be probably be the last episode. And this will be maybe the last episode of the series until uh, the 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 ROM gets updated. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's get two gems done. Oh my god. Uh, what? You, champ in the making, do you feel lost already? Yeah, you got that right. Garrick is an illusion master. This place doesn't look like your usual gem, but this isn't the actual room the leader is in. You'll have to find that room yourself. Just letting you know that Garrick is a master of dark type Pokemon fighting. Fairy or bug type should be the trick. Okay. Um. So, oh my god. Can I fight you? Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, this is uh, very confusing. Uh, I, fortunately, I do not have any... Uh, any bug fighting or uh, fairy type moves. So that's a shame. Um, uh, okay, I, I pushed the button. She's the prettiest girl in the gym. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Oh, I hate fighting Umbreons, and I'm gonna have to heal. I'm getting quite low on HP. I also need to buy more healing items at some point. And one more Razor Shell should do that. There we go. And Francis, great level 33. Uh, I keep, okay, I keep pushing these buttons, but I'm not sure what the hell they're doing. Uh, oh, a uh, Ponyard. That's pretty cool. Alright, that was easy. High school spear. Okay, um, Francis just fucking died. God damn it. And another poniard. Hmm. I can't actually do anything. I'm gonna have to switch to Jigawatt. Alright. There we go. Well, luckily I do have some revives. So, Francis, you wanna get revived? And then I'll give you another thingy. And also, what the hell are you holding? A high proportion. That'll be useful. Um. Another guy with another bin uh, with another button to press. Shiftry. Wow. Fucking. I'll just go fuck myself then, will I? Jesus Christ. Fucking leaf tornado. Are you shitting me? Why the fuck does this guy have leaf tornado? One of the literally. Oh. Oh my god. Are you shitting me? Can I leave to like heal? Because fucking. What's his face? Died like a bitch. Also, uh, did this guy make the mechanic where the, all the march sell the same stuff now? He did. Thank fucking Christ. I'm just gonna buy like 10 super potions because my Pokemon are still quite low 
on max HP. All right, so what's the right order then? Is it gonna be this, 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 and then this? Hey, I'm, f I'm a fucking genius. Oh my God, there's still more. I thought that was the end, but there's a lot of, a lot of trainers in this gym apparently. Wow, can you please stop for the love of fucking God using that move? Oh my god, I used Torment, so I'm gonna have to use Tackle and then use Razor Shell, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's the right move, isn't it? Uh, Torment is the one where you can't use the same move two times in a row. Pretty sure that's right. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know. Lemonade. There we go. Okay, so there, there's the gym we are in this weird casino. Fucking Sableye. All this gym reminds me of is that dark types are literally some of the most irritating pricks to fight. And I got a Murkrow. Okay, well. Fuck you, Murkrow. And also, I should actually switch because Jack is the only one not on 34 now. And fuck your Hunchcrow, my Murkrow is way better. Ah, uh, Crawdon. Really? Could you not spam protect, please? Also, holy shit. That kind of wrecked me a little bit. Alright, let's go heal and then we'll fight the gym leader. Alright. Oh, God damn it. I'll just just do that for a little while. That gives somebody a fucking seizure. Alright. Um, let's send Jack out first. What are you holding? Another hyper potion, I hope? An ultra ball. Alright, well. Alright, let's try and beat this guy. You must be right. You're the trainer with the Zorua egg, right? Um, yeah, apparently. Thanks for spoiling that for me, though. Nate came to me on my vacation and asked me to help the egg hatch. You see, Zorua won't hatch out of their egg unless they feel safe nearby their parent. It looks like your egg was abandoned by its mother very early, so my Zorua helped. Your egg should hatch pretty soon now, or has it hatched already? What? Are you asking how I disappeared? I didn't. I was on vacation. No, I might have forgotten to let anyone know I was going. Wow. What a dumbass. Also, that- God damn, you're a prick. Like, why would you tell me that it's a Zorua? Also, I already have a dark type, so that kind of sucks. That I'm not going to be able to really use it. Oh well. Shit happens. This guy has five fucking Pokemon. Holy shit. Alright, uh, let's just go for a wing attack. See how much damage that does. Ah, uh, one hit KO. Fucking suck my dick, Zorua. And a Weavile. Ooh, I am going to definitely switch. Um, I don't actually have anything. I guess Francis is the best option for Weavile. Since it's a physical attacker. And Francis has good uh, physical defense. Own Claws. Ooh, I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. Let's hope this uh, Razor Shell can do a lot of damage. Because then I can maybe finish it off with... No, oh, probably not then. I was going to say I can maybe finish it off with an Ice Shard, but I probably won't be able to. Even with that defense drop. Wow, that knockoff done a fucking lot, and fuck you for knocking off my lucky egg. Now I'm not going to get as much XP. You piece of shit. Alright, well... That kind of sucks, but... We got, well, we got a fucking shit ton of XP anyway. Hunchgrow... I'll stay in. I'll go for a ice shard and oh, you know what? I'll you know what I'll do. I'll heal. I'll actually heal up a little bit and see what this one thing wants to do. Drill pick. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, in fact, not as much as I thought it would. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for an icicle spear. Oh god, that might kill me though. Also, I like. Yep. I should have just went for the ice shard and took the damage. I like how Dark Pulse is just the animation for Shadow Ball. Alright, uh, let's see. I'll just go for a fly. That's going to do the most damage, so might as well. This thing is ridiculous. This thing has a Drill Pick and sh uh, Dark Pulse. I really want to learn those two attacks for Jack. I'm really- oh my god, that did a fucking lot. I'm assuming that um, he's probably going to give me Dark Pulse as the TM, which would be awesome because I can give it to Jack, since his uh, physical and special attack are pretty similar. He's kind of a mixed attacker, so having special and physical moves is not much of a problem. 
And are you fucking shitting me? This guy has a Greninja? Holy shit. Fucking level 36. Holy shit. And of course it is fucking fast. Oh my god. Okay, the critical hit wasn't really necessary, so, you know, whatever. Um, I guess Spark? Oh god, that's gonna do a lot of damage! Oh god. I'm assuming this is his strongest Pokémon. Yep. I'm assuming it is anyway, but level 36 seems like it would be his highest level. Unless he does have something higher, and I'm really fucking hoping he doesn't. And I think he actually might. He does. Level 37 Zorork. Fucking wow. Also, he gave Zorork the move Trace. I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm assuming he wasn't really able to give it... Uh, he was, maybe wasn't able to give it... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, illusion. Because that would be very... I uh, assume quite hard to uh, make or put into the, uh, the ROM hack. So, yeah. Oh god, this Dark Pulse is probably going to knock me out in one hit. Mm, okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm so glad. Now I can use a Hyper Potion. What the fuck? There we go. Use a Hyper Potion and heal up Jigawatt. And then I can try and get some moves on this thing. Extra Sensory. Okay, that's not going to do nearly as much. Right, and I'll go for a Spark. This thing is fucking fast, holy shit. Oh god. Please paralyze it. Please, for the love of god, paralyze it. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, full heal. That's fine. I'm just gonna knock you out in one hit anyway. Oh my god. That is amazing. What fucking luck. Hey, we're great level 35. And we're traveling on Thunderfang. Ew. Let's see, what's its, uh... Hmm. Uh, you know what? Oh, I don't know. Do I want 5% less accuracy for having maybe the ability to cause flinch? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. You're very talented. That Zorua is in good hands. I'm not going to use it though. As soon as it hatches, it's getting stuck in the PC. I already have a dark type, so sorry. The mist badge makes Pokemon up to level 50 obey you. It also lets you use them with Surf outside of battle. And TM49, which I'm assuming is Dark Pulse. Yes, it is. Cool. So, uh. I can use uh, Dark Pulse now. Also, this, this episode's gonna be a lot longer than usual. I'll give it to Jack. And we'll put it over Assurance. Hey! So let's get the hell out of this gym. And... We'll heal up. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. I don't think we can go any further in the game now. I'm assuming maybe we're supposed to get Surf at this point from someone, but I don't know how. And I don't know if they, and I'm pretty sure when I downloaded this off the forums it said it would only go up to the fourth gym. Um, but I'll probably do some research and see if there is any updates coming out soon and I'll just continue this series whenever we get to that point. So, thanks for watching guys and I will see you whenever this can, whenever this continues I guess. So, goodbye.